What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, we're actually going to talk about something that's going to help you take care of your drum heads. Oh yeah, the secrets. To all the new subscribers, welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of y'all already know that by now, but... <sighs> just had to say thank you for subscribing. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I'm uploading. And yes, we normally upload videos two times a week, normally Mondays and Thursdays. Sorry, uh, I'll tell you why I didn't upload on Monday. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much, man. Thank you for reaching out to me, wondering if I'm okay, thanking me for you know, just hoping that I'm doing well with my health and all that stuff. I was under the weather. I'm feeling way better now. So it's about to be crazy, man. I got a lot of stuff going on in the next couple of weeks. I'll be playing out a lot, a lot, a lot. So um, yeah, and I'm pretty excited. I got a lot of stuff to show y'all today. So yes, first things first, let me kind of uh, show you uh, what I'm about to do. And then I'll give you an update on what's going on with my... Uh, drum heads oh yeah so today i actually want to talk to you about something that uh helps me take care of my drums and uh drum heads so i've been getting a lot of questions on how i take care of my drum heads especially when it comes to rawhide heads steer mule whatever floats your boat i don't think this will work for uh synthetic heads unless you scraped off the top i believe you can still use this method but yeah, uh, this is a product that's very known to a lot of congueros, a lot of hand percussionists, and it's something that I've used uh, a long time now that uh, just to take care of my heads and to make sure that they remain healthy, that they remain uh, at a good color as well, and that you know there ends up no cracking and you know no fading no crusting and no ashiness you know because it is a skin so the product that i use is this oh yeah it is manteca de corojo oh yeah manteca de corojo this is the stuff y'all y'all don't understand this right here this thing is so legit that it doesn't even have a description of what it's for it's crazy. This thing right here is legit. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, um, I use Manteca de Corojo. This is palm oil, okay? This is palm oil, but it's a, it's a cream base. You could kind of, like, see here. It's fairly, you know, good to use. It's, yeah, you know, it's works fairly well when it comes to uh, taking care of your drums. What I do is... Depending on the drum, how young it is or how healthy it is so far, I just apply it directly on the drum and I leave it, you know, just there chilling and have it, you know, resting for a while so it could, you know, kind of take the texture in. So as you see right now, I have my conga and as well, I have my quinto, okay? So you're going to see two different uh, transactions going on right here, you know what I mean? Uh, so this one's obviously just got put on. Uh, it's now at the drying point. Uh, if you remember in the previous video, I had to do something with it in order for it to actually, you know, remain well and uh, fit on the quinto. Um, it sounds great, but just letting you know, once you apply this, it will kind of change the sound initially, okay? So it's, it's kind of adding to this like beautiful skin, you know, it's moisturizing it. It's it's giving it vitamins. So yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna change the sound. So I'm gonna play just something basic, um, maybe something I will show tomorrow for uh, tutorial Thursday. So yeah, you know, this is just something basic, uh, just so you guys can get an idea of what's going on. So 
So as you can hear, it is uh, slightly, you know, the way it is and the way it sounds and the way it looks. So let me quickly uh, apply some of this manteca de corojo and uh, put it on here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, you know, it's uh, pretty textury. It's a nice little, you know, nice little look and uh, you just put it on the, just put it on the drum. And what I normally tend to do, I try to put it on all parts of the head, um, even like where the bearing edge is and where, you know, just every corner. You try to put it on every corner just so it could, you know, absorb all that moisture. As you could see, the color has changed. It looks nice and fresh, very clean. And you just gotta love it. It feels so good. It feels good on your hands, it feels good on the skin. Just rub it in fairly well. Now there are methods, you could put a cloth on it and rub it that way. There's a lot of different methods. Me personally, I love to actually rub it on there, get nice and deep, you know, make contact with my hand on the skin to get the, you know, just a feel and um, kind of have that conversation like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, treating, I'm treating you right, baby girl. I'm treating you good, you know, I'm just a, uh, Making sure it's all love and chicken grease, you know what I'm saying? Or in, in this case, palm oil. Woo! Thing looks beautiful. Woo! That thing looks beautiful. Now let's put it on the quinto. First and foremost, this quinto looks gorgeous, precious, beautiful, dark skinned, and woo! My goodness. Now pay attention to this part right here. You're gonna see, let me uh, kind of like show you guys on this part right here. It's gonna look completely different than what it was. You see like these spots right here, all these little indicators, those are gonna kind of like show up in this area. So uh, yeah, let's uh, put some on here too. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. That looks like gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. So you just let this here, let it dry a little bit. Let it feel good on your hands, man. Now, if you wanna hear how it's gonna sound, just briefly, even though we should let that uh, manteca de corojo kinda rest. You're gonna automatically hear a difference. It's probably gonna go lower a bit, but yeah, you're gonna hear a difference, man. that back on there and not leave any fingerprints but yeah man this this is you know there's there's a lot of different methods other creams that people use to uh, take care of their drums and to make sure everything is you know well kept man and and you want to make sure that you're taking care of your heads and making sure that they're you know just healthy looking and fresh and not dry and ashy and crusty Cause man, it's it's a it's it's skin. You know, you should put lotion on your hands and lotion on your arms and moisturize your uh, your skin. So this this really 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 helps. At least for me, it's something I've been using for years. I've loved it. Um, looks good at first and ends up drying up and really kind of like taking the shape of the of the the head and kind of like absorbing it. Uh, for example, let me actually show you what I did to my bongos. All right, you guys, dude, th these things are crazy. Let me show you. Ooh look at, look at that, y'all. 
Look look at that money maker. My goodness. Look at that. Yo. Crazy. I'm going to show you guys how these sound next week. I know you guys are anxious to hear how they sound, but my goodness, they sound crazy, man. They sound... That's, that's all I'm giving y'all. That is all I'm giving y'all. Yeah, as you see, it really kind of like takes a good shape of what's going on here. Very beautiful. You can see really the all the details and textures of the head. So it's beautiful, man. Manteca de Corojo. I will put links of that uh, in the description below. So if you guys wanted to order it, you guys can go ahead and order it from there. It's very cheap. But, uh, you know, a little... You know, a little little tube like this can really, you know, go a long way in how you take care of your heads, man. Just just make sure you're treating your stuff right, taking care of your stuff, and you know, making sure that everything's, uh, you know, f you know, doing well. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the tumbas. Let me uh, hold on. Let me just let me just move some of this stuff around. So if you guys can see, this thing looks crazy. These are the two tumbas. They're still drying, man. They're still drying. Woo, they're thick, but they sound. can't wait oh my gosh okay first I'm sorry about that I get really excited when I get a chance to play drums so oh yeah um, but anyways I still have to have these dry a little bit and um, maybe in about a day or so they'll be good still fairly you know moist here the heads were thick man and uh, the process was pretty long these were probably the hardest heads I've ever had to put on um, just because of the thickness of each uh, head and it was kind of crazy but you just gotta love it and move on and um, yeah so maybe in about a day or so they'll be ready and then I'll put some uh, manteca de corojo aka some palm oil and uh, have it dry for a couple days after that as well and uh, yeah it's about to be nice and fun all right y'all you already know what to do like subscribe I will see you guys tomorrow mañana Fácil Jueves, it's Thursday, tutorials, you already know, man. I will see you guys tomorrow.